Gunpei Yokoi was a Japanese engineer. He was born on the 10th of September 1941 in Kyoto, Japan. His first job was to realize maintainment to machines on a playing card company. During his spare time, Yoko liked to make toys. In 1970, he was hired by Nintendo, a company that by the time made playing cards and toys. His first success with the company was a toy called the Ultra Hand and was a great success in Japan. When the digital era started, he helped create Nintendo's video game consoles. Popular games like Donkey Kong and Mario are examples of contributions from Yokoi. The video game industry was growing rapidly by the time of the 80s, but Yokoi noticed a problem. People were restricted to playing with a TV set in one post position and moving this was not comfortable and took time. He wanted people to be able to play games anywhere they wanted to. This is why he created the Game Boy in 1989. This was the first portable gaming device ever created. People were able to play anywhere at any time. At first, Yokoi thought that the Game Boy was a failure, but the Game Boy was a complete success. It sold a million devices within weeks of its launch. The Game Boy sold a total of 115 million devices during its complete lifetime. With the Game Boy, Gunpei Yokoi revolutionized the gaming industry, leading to the creation of many other portable devices. But there is one aspect of the Game Boy that still is present in all modern gaming consoles. The D-pad layout that Yokoi created. Today it is thought of a very simple concept, but at the time this layout was revolutionary and is currently implemented in all modern video gaming consoles. The Game Boy contributed greatly to the gaming industry and, it, and also to the creation of newer portable devices made by Nintendo. It is clear how many of the modern portable handheld devices have resemblances to the original Game Boy. Sadly, Gunpei Yokoi died on the 4th of October 1997 when he was run over by a car. He was 56 years old by the time. Yokoi might have died already, but his legacy still lives from his inventions.